Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula, your host. This is chapter 13 of my multi-part series, Sula's Complete Video Guide to Becoming an Amateur Astronomer. Chapter 13, The Milky Way. According to a recent article in National Geographic, 80% of Americans cannot see the Milky Way. And the same is true in Europe. After all, most people live in urban places, and by definition, urban places are highly populated, and those areas are the most light polluted, where you're least likely to be able to see the Milky Way. If you want to see the Milky Way, you have to go to a reasonably dark place, preferably a very dark place to see it very well, and see the cool things inside of the Milky Way. But what is the Milky Way anyway? And why is it called the Milky Way? Well, the Milky Way is a galaxy, which is a collection of gas, dust, and billions of stars held together by gravity. And the Milky Way is our own galaxy where our tiny planet resides. It was known to the ancient Egyptians and they thought that it looked like cow's milk. And that's why they called it the Milky Way and the Romans called it uh, something Lacerta, which means uh, river of milk, and that's why it's called that. The Milky Way was formed about 14 billion years ago, about one billion years after the Big Bang. And it started when a cloud of gas and dust collapsed to form a huge sphere. And over time, the sphere continued to gain mass and it started to spin. And the spinning caused the sphere to flatten out into a disk. And you can see the remnants of the original sphere today if you look at a globular cluster. Globular clusters are some of the oldest things in the universe and they each have about 150 light years in diameter and they form what remains of the galactic sphere. Each globular cluster contains hundreds of millions, uh, thousands of ancient stars. Some are as old as 10 billion years old. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years side to side and it contains anywhere from 100 to 400 billion stars, although no one's quite sure. However, our Milky Way galaxy is just an average size galaxy. Our Milky Way is a spiral galaxy with a bar in the center, and it has two main arms, the Scutum Centaurus arm and the Perseus arm, extending out from the bar at the center. Our solar system is about 26,000 light years away from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. In one of its spiral arms, known as the Orion Cygnus arm, which is midway between the two main arms, which is about halfway between the center and the edge of the Milky Way. Our solar system is tilted 60 degrees to the disk of the Milky Way and that's why in midsummer evenings and in winter in the northern hemisphere, the Milky Way appears in the sky almost straight up and down north to south at a right angle from the ecliptic. As the Earth revolves around the sun, we are looking in different directions into the Milky Way's spiral arms. From June to August, the dark side of the Earth is turned toward the galactic center, and that's when we see the core of the Milky Way from the Northern Hemisphere. It's not possible to see the center of the Milky Way with just your eyes on account of all the gas and dust in the galaxy. However, when you look up and you see the Milky Way, you are looking at our giant spiral galaxy edge on and all the stars that you see with your naked eye, uh, about 2,500 stars, belong to our Milky Way galaxy. 
The Milky Way appears densest in the constellation Sagittarius, a constellation best seen in the summertime from the northern hemisphere, low in the south. Behind me is facing south, and Scorpius and Sagittarius will rise just above those trees. And in Sagittarius, you'll see an asterism, which many people call a teapot, but which to me appears to be a house with smoke coming out of it, out of the chimney. And when you look toward this smoke, or uh, people call it the uh, steam coming out of the teapot, you are looking at 27,000 light years of galactic space filled with billions of stars toward the center of the galaxy, or what you can call the core of the Milky Way galaxy. From December to February, the night side of the Earth faces the other direction toward the outer edge of the Milky Way, toward Orion and Gemini. And because we live in an outer spiral arm, there isn't as much galaxy to see. That's why the winter Milky Way is much fainter than the summer Milky Way. When we look out at bright stars around Orion, we're looking at star formation in our own local arm of the Milky Way galaxy. In the springtime, the Milky Way lies along the horizon, and when we look up, we are looking into the galactic pole. But because we're not looking through the Milky Way's dust clouds, that's why springtime is often called galaxy season, because the other galaxies are not obscured by our own galaxy's gas and dust. The Milky Way is thought to contain about 100 to 400 billion stars, and you can observe the Milky Way from both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. But when viewed in the Southern Hemisphere, which I have seen, but I don't remember, sadly, because I was too young, the Milky Way appears more like a spiral galaxy viewed edge on, similar to other galaxies that you might see in a telescope. Except the Milky Way spans the sky, and in the Southern Hemisphere, the core appears overhead, unlike the Northern Hemisphere, where the core is going to be along the south, and the best part is going to be in Sagittarius and Scorpius, and depending on what latitude you live in, the farther north you are, the more of Scorpius will be obscured by the southern horizon. You have to go south to see the whole of Scorpius, which looks like a scorpion. From where I am right now at 45 degrees latitude, I can just barely see the stinger of Scorpius and Shaula. And by late August, the stinger and all of Scorpius will set by the time it gets really dark here. Farther south, though, Sagittarius and Scorpius ride higher in the sky, giving breathtaking views of the core of the Milky Way. And if you go all the way to the Southern Hemisphere, you can enjoy the core of the Milky Way galaxy high overhead in wintertime, their wintertime, an even more breathtaking view, or so I'm told. The nearest galaxy to the Milky Way galaxy is Andromeda, M31. Andromeda galaxy is a little bit larger than the Milky Way galaxy, and it's about 2.6 million light years away, making it the farthest object that you can see with the naked eye from a dark sky site. I can see it from here, naked eye. Even though several million light years separate the two galaxies, Andromeda and the Milky Way, Andromeda is moving toward us at a speed of 68 miles per second, and eventually the two galaxies, Andromeda and the Milky Way, will collide. But don't worry, that won't happen for another 4.5 billion years. In the meantime, go outside on any clear dark night from June to August from the Northern Hemisphere and enjoy viewing one of the most beautiful things in the night sky, the Milky Way galaxy. The core, look to the south for Scorpius, 
which really does look like a scorpion, a giant one, and the red star in Scorpius, which is Antares, the scorpion's heart, and to its left, for the asterism in Sagittarius, the teapot, or what I call the house with the chimney, and in Sagittarius, there, if it's dark enough where you are, you'll be able to make out many fabulous naked eye objects, such as M22, the Sagittarius star cloud, M24, M8, the Lagoon Nebula, the beautiful um, M6 butterfly cluster, and above those, the Scutum star cloud. And from Antares up and over towards Altair, the brightest star in the constellation Aquila, you just might be able to make out the dark lanes of dust in the Milky Way that some people call the dark horse because it resembles a horse. And the horse's back end is called the Pite Nebula. It's a dark nebula, so it is dark. <laughs> and it will appear darker than the rest of the sky if you are in a dark sky site and it is dark enough. Unless you're watching this in springtime, in which case you cannot see the Milky Way from the Northern Hemisphere, then get outside and find a dark place and enjoy our beautiful galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy. Look with your naked eye, lie on the ground, or get some binoculars, and with binoculars you'll be able to make out those big star clouds. And that's it for now, for chapter 13. Get out there and enjoy the Milky Way and all the beautiful night sky has to offer. Star skies forever. Sula, signing off.